Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is my rest day so I've, I'm going to downtown to, to explore it with you. I've been there many times but I'm gonna show you how the downtown looks like here in the city. Well, we're on the bus and I think for, for me the, the easiest way to go there is to take the bus. You can take taxi or Didi but you know taking the bus is cheaper so I'll go there by bus. It's around maybe um, 10 minutes. So a 10 minute bus ride from that stop and we'll get there. That's so far. Alright, we're here now. So putting off the bus. Alright guys, this part of the town is called um Women's Street in Chinese it's New Rinjie. So literally translates to Women's Street and let's see what's in there. So actually shop. Most of them are shops. There. It's fun and interesting to see so many shops in one area, like this one. You can see cosmetics, um, clothes shops, shoes, um, accessories and jewelries, even lingeries, kids' um, clothing, something like that. And um, if you've got experience with a busy downtown, comment down below and let us know how much activity is going on in your downtown. And um, because in this area, in um, I've been here during down um during the weekend, and um, it's usually very busy. It's filled, and you can see families with their kids tagging along with them, um, going shopping and eating and meeting friends. It's just a very normal weekend activity. But for now, it's not so busy because it's on a Thursday, so you cannot expect a lot of people to go to go and shop. So. Let us know what has has been your downtown experience in, in your in your area or even in China or wherever you are. And yeah, I would like to hear it from you too. So both sides of the road have like shops in there. So you actually know the reason why it's called Women Street. And that is it. So most of the shops here sell Women's clothes. Since it's downtown, you can see commercial buildings and residential apartment buildings. On this part of town, you can see apartment buildings or people live in apartment buildings on top of shops beneath them. If you'd ask me if, whether I'd love to live in this place in downtown, well, I'd love to. But I wouldn't because you know it's busy and if it's busy it's noisy. But if it's it's still a good place to stay if you're looking for a place to stay, especially if you like the kind of business that this area has. Well, not all parts of this street is actually selling women's clothes. There are a few shops here around this area that sells women a men's clothes and men's apparel so see yeah if it also like clothes for children all sorts of stuff so for children like this in China. Um, they don't only sell clothes or things or things in the house. 
there's always like a food street and I'm gonna show you the food street that they have here town of uh, this part of women's street this is the food stalls and small shops so let's go and let's see what they've got Hi. There's part here that I usually go to and um, I'm gonna try the noodles. I'm gonna have the noodles so that I usually have for dinner. Anyhow, now so I'm gonna have this one. Um there we go. Mix it. That's gonna be my lunch today, so we can have the noodles. There we go. Um, we call it Yao Mian. <laughs> we call it Yao Mian and it's a how do you say? A, 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 a noodles a noodles uh, made of uh, have this potato fries and you've got some peanuts and you've got some cucumber, shredded cucumbers there. And this is tofu and it's really quick. It only was done in like two minutes, less than two minutes. This entire part here, this is the entire food street, uh, all the way from that part to um, towards that end. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh, it's, there's also some seaweed here, stretch of seaweed. Yeah. And that's it. I think that's it for my lunch. Is I think it's around 11 already. So I'm good for lunch. Let's go. Um, there's part of the, of the town that we call um, Crazy Crazy Store, but actually the name of the store is the Crazy Store. It's just my friends and I call it Crazy Store because everything, practically everything, has it. Like you can find anything from 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 stationery and to, to kitchen supplies and something like that. And th that is the store. So let's let's go ahead and explore that store now. I'm actually getting something in there.
for a small shop like this, it's pretty crazy for you to be able to find almost everything from home to office to school supplies. They got almost everything here. That's why we call this place crazy store. Well, if you ask me like, how are the things from there? Like, well, the things I bought from here um, are actually still working. But I, to tell you the truth, I don't buy everything from here. But the point is like, it is not always the case that whatever you got from, you know, some Chinese stores, they don't last long. Well, for me, they have, some of them have good quality and they do last long. Well, if you find anything interesting and valuable in this video, just go ahead and support this channel by subscribing and giving it a thumbs up and also click the bell button so that you'll be able to see if more comments are up. And yeah, I'll be more than happy to interact with you on the comment section. Thank you for your time. But there you have it. That's um, how my day off goes. So I hope you also had fun. See you in the next one. <laughs>